Hi, I'm Bonnie Lynn Linky, and welcome to my studio, Stamping with Bonnie Lynn. Today, I am going to share with you how I made this card using the Biggest Wish stamp set by Stampin' Up, because I am an independent Stamping Up demonstrator, forgot to say that at the beginning. And to do this method, I'm really excited to share it with you because I just discovered it last week from Tammy White. And it's using the Stamparatus, and it is so easy, and I cannot believe I did not think of this before. Some of you may already know how to use the Stamparatus to do this method of lining up your stamp and moving it um, down the page, but I didn't know this, so... Let's get to it. And at the end of the video, I will show you some other cards um, that I made with this. So the reason why I decided to make this is because I needed a birthday card for one of my older brothers. I have four older brothers. And um, I wanted something different that I hadn't done. And I thought, man, this would be perfect. So, okay, my Stamparatus right here. And... I already have my stamp in, but I am going to show you how I did that. I'm going to start with a piece of white cardstock, and you will find all the measurements on my webpage. And there's a link in the com in the um, remarks below that I put on there. And if you take the link to my webpage, it will take you right to the blog that I wrote about this card, and it will give you. Um, a place where you can print out the instructions and all the supplies I used. And it's my web page site is stampingwithbonnylynn.com. Yes, I had to think about that for a minute. Okay, so I put my paper in, and what I did next is I decided I wanted my strip of paper, designer series paper, to go over to the side. So I decided where it was, and I already have this set up, so I'm not gonna take it off right now. But what I did, I'll get another stamp and I'll show you. Um, I'll just grab this hello stamp right here. I decided where I wanted it, and then I just placed it right here and I had it an equal distance. I had it a distance from the top. The reason why I did it ahead of time is because I didn't want to stick my head in here so that I could see if I had it lined up right or not. And then you just close this like so and the stamp will stick to it. Now you will want to use two magnets when you do this so that your paper does stay in place. So I got my magnets over here. I will not need to move them again. Actually, I can put the other one up here. Okay, and then to bring in my ink. Because I am ma making this, but only with a different color card base, I am gonna use the same colors, which is Granny Apple Green, Crush Curry. But I'm gonna use Polish Pink on this one and Pool Party, where this is Poppy Red and Pacific Point and shaded spruce. This one is more, leans more towards a man card. I want this to lean more towards giving it to a woman or maybe a teenage girl. So I'll start with my granny apple green. And I picked these colors based off of the colors in the designer series paper. And this paper Oh, I am going to draw a blank. It is the host paper. And it's Celebrate Everything is the name of it. And this is the host paper from the July to December mini catalog. So, okay, I stamp up my Granny Apple Green. Very good. And press it to rub it all on. Now... For the most part, I don't um, re-ink it again as long as it stamps good. Sometimes the top one may not stamp real good because you're up close to that edge. But that one, it did it perfectly. 
and actually I already made a mistake, but we'll see if it works because I had set my stamp up so that the um, paper was not all the way up at the top. So, but that's, we'll see what happens. Okay, now this is where the magic comes in at. All you do is lift your plate out of your stamparatus like that and move it down one hole. And we are going to Get my chamois, and we're going to just wipe that green ink off. Isn't that so cool, the way that we can move that plate down and have it line up? You'll see now how it lines up. Okay, this is my crushed curry. And just put that in. Perfect. I can't believe it. I was so excited when I saw that. And I wonder what other stamps I can do it with. Now, in this stamp set, The Biggest Wish, there is a thanks. There's a hello friend, a hello and a friend. And it comes in two different fonts. This is the black one. But as you'll see when we do the birthday one, um, it's going to be a different font. Okay, now we just lift it up and move it down another notch. As you can see, I have two empty notches right there where we've moved it so far. Now, if I wanted to, I could go back and stamp over this with a different color ink and a different font, put maybe the birthday right through the happy. That would be cool. Okay, and that's the polished pink, or as I like to call it, the Polish pink. I am Polish, so I can say that. <laughs> All right. And, and why, okay, I'm going to move this down one more. And I want to remind you that I started a new rewards program. It's with every $25 increment of merchandise you buy from me, you get a rewards point. And once you get 10 points... I will give you a $25 gift certificate for either you to use or somebody else. And um, you'll have to place the order with the gift certificate with me. You can't do that one online. And um, yeah, and you get $25 in free merchandise. Isn't that fantastic? Okay, let's see with that. And um, the reason why I'm doing it is because I really appreciate all of my customers. You guys are what makes me be able to do this. And I thank you very much. Okay, now we're going to do the birthday. So I need to get the birthday stamp. And I want to do it in the script font. But on my rewards point, if you go to my wedge page, there will be a tab that says thanks there will be a tab at the top that says customer rewards and if you click on there it will give you all the details you need to use my monthly host code when you place your order if you place an online order for the other until you get to the your gift certificate and um and there's a page there that you can print out in order to keep track of what your order number is, how much you spent on that order, the date you placed it, and how many points you received. I'll also be keeping track, but this way you can keep track and you can remind me when you reach it. Okay, so I'm done with my happy birthday and I moved that one back up. Now I could use the same plate and what I could do is I could take a scratch piece of paper and I could put this to cover the happy and I could use this plate to do this but I don't want to do that because the object of the reason why they made the stamp around is, is so that there was two plates so if you're doing multiple stamping especially at Christmas time where you have your verses and everything you could have something on this one and you could have something else on this one where they don't interfere with each other and it makes it so much easier. Okay, now this is Poppy Parade. And I'm gonna take it and close it. And I just rub with my palm. Some people rub with their fingers, but 
when you get older like me, you get arthritis and it hurts. Okay, I like that. I could have probably had it straighter, but that's okay. I can't see straight anyhow, especially when I'm stamping. Okay, whoops, there we go. All right, I'm all done with the Stamparatus, so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take this one off. This, and if you saw a round ring on the Stamparatus when I was stamping, I apologize, but that's my ring light. And for the life of me, I could not get it out of my um, practice when I was setting up, I noticed it and I tried to get rid of the glare from it, the reflection of it, and I could not. So I'm sorry. I hope it didn't affect your viewing of me doing the stamping. So next, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the designer series paper, and this is one and three eighths by five and a quarter. And what I like to do I use the tear and tape. I like to just, when I'm doing a small strip like this, I'll just take a little piece and tear it back so that I have something to grab on to, to make sure it's in place. And just line that up. Oops, I'm sliding it all around there. That looks good. Now I can just pull it. And there it is. It just stays right in place where I put it. And you could probably go one and a quarter. That is awful tight on the birthday. Okay, now I need more tear and tape. The reason why I use tear and tape is... Um, I put it on all four sides, which I could do that with the stamping seal. But glue, I managed to get all over me and all over the paper. And with glue, I cannot fix a mistake. With um, using tape, I can fix a mistake. And yes, I do make my share of mistakes. How many of you have put your card front all together and then you go to put it on your card base and you realize you put it upside down. Yeah, especially if you're beginning. But even as you've been an experienced stamper, you can still do that. Okay, so I had cut two different card bases because I wasn't sure what color I was gonna use, the polished pink or the poppy red. And then I decided, well, I think I wanna put a piece of ribbon on this one. So I went over to my ribbon supply and I had nothing in polished pink that I could find. So we're using the poppy red. Now the ribbon I'm gonna use when I do this is probably from a couple years ago. But hey, it works, I have ribbon. So that's why I decide how I'm gonna, what color base I'm gonna use, what color ribbon do I have? And I had originally had different colors picked for this. Instead of pool party, I was gonna use Pacific Point. But I got to thinking about it and I thought, no, I don't wanna do that. So what I did is I got a stamp and I didn't feel like, I normally, when I'm testing colors, will go and find one of my flower stamps, but I didn't do that on this one. I just took my stamping up stamp that I have right here that I put on the back of cards if I'm gonna um, be selling them because it is required that we do that, the angel policy. So I stamped the colors and I decided I didn't like the Pacific Point. So that's when I brought in the pool party to use. And I was gonna put these two by each other and I decided, no, I don't like them by each other. So that's how come Poppy Red ended up down at the bottom. So I do try to test out my colors on a piece of scratch paper. This is just copy paper. And um, that way I'm not wasting cardstock and I'm not unhappy with what I'm doing. 
And to show you what I mean, when I went to make this card, I texted my brother to ask him what his favorite color was. And he said blue. And I said, okay. So I knew I wanted to do something in blue. So I, um, this is copy paper. And I tried it with different shades and colors of blue. And um, it's how I decide what I want. That's Orchard always, Orchid Ace of right there. And actually, this was pretty cool um, that I did. I did the happies this way, and I was just fooling around. But birthday right there, can you imagine putting happy all the way down here? And then you could put birthday once or twice up on this side of it if you wanted to. So you can do so many things with this, and the Stamparatus just makes it so easy. Okay, now we need a card for the inside, which we'll do right there. And I am going to use my Charming Sentiments. Let's see, this one, I think I'll do Wishing You the Happiest of Birthdays. Or Yeah, I'll do Wishing You the Happiest of Birthdays on this one. This is an extra thing I had, so it just sits in here. Okay, there we go. If I have extra pieces from when I'm stamping or if I don't like what I did, I put them in the stamp set. And I normally put them in a little plastic bag, but that one little piece I didn't and I really need to. Okay, I'm gonna get my Stampin' Paris mat because I'm using a photopolymer stamp so they don't, um, they need some cushion underneath them. And so that's what the pierced mat is good for. Okay, and I think I'm going to do this one in the poppy red. So ink up my stamp. Tap, 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 tap. Now I could do this on the Stamparatus. And if I was doing a lot of these, I would. But this is just a one, one thing. And I'm getting better at stamping them pretty evenly. And these stamps stamp they stamp good where you don't need to go back in for a second um re-inking of it my poppy red i'm i think i left it open one day and so i really need to get a new one because the stamp pad is not absorbing ink the way that i wish it would so um hmm. let's turn this over and let's try this in the polish pink i may like that more because I really need to do something with that stamp. And I know I didn't clean my stamp, did I? So there may be a little bit of Poppy Parade on here. You wanna hold it for about five seconds, let the ink absorb. There we go. Yeah, I like that one better. I like that color better. It's a combination of the two colors. I'll move that ink pad out of my way so I don't put my hand in it. Okay, and we'll go ahead and tape this. But you will find my host rewards code on my website. It's on the right-hand side about halfway down. It's says host code and it gives you the number. I know it's not real big. I'm not a web person, um, designer. So I am hoping that um, it gets fixed here pretty soon. I've asked somebody to do it. So I'll see what type of um, job he does. Actually, it's my nephew-in-law who's gonna do it and he's gonna teach his son who just graduated from high school, um, give him an opportunity to fix it and put a new one up. So we'll see how that works out. I'm all for helping kids get started. And my great nephew's a good kid. All right, and don't forget, celebration ends August 31st, so you only have a few more days of earning any of the um, celebration items. 
and the ring, the R rings of love designer series paper, the aspen dies, um, the gold and silver designer series paper, six by six sheets, the wonderful world stamp set and designer series paper are all still available. So, some good things. Okay, now what I want it to do is I decided I'm going to put some little candles. Now I used the charming sentiment for my stamps on the greeting here, but this is the matching dies for it, the sentiment silhouette dies. And these cut out right around the words. Like, let me see if I can find this one. Um, I think this is it. If I wanted to cut this out, see how that would cut that out? It just cuts it out right around it, tight around it. Works great for greetings and everything. I love it. I, I love this set. But besides the silhouette dies, there are other dies on here. And right here are two pieces of a candle. And what I did is I cut them out. And these I glued together. But I got smart afterwards. And I, and I, um, Remembered to put the backing on, I recut cut out the crushed curry because I was going to, um, I saved this one to put together to show you how I glued it with a sponge. But I decided, no, instead I'm going to go over and I'm going to put the adhesive sheet on the back of a piece of crushed curry. Just a little piece to fit this and see how smoothly that goes on there. I took the backing off of it and just stuck it together and it's wonderful. My hands don't get all gluey and sticky. So that's how I did my candles. And besides the candles, you have hearts, you got stars, you got, this would be like a firework and this I believe would be, you know, the stream going up to it that you could cut out. So, and I believe this one's a butterfly. So some really cool things. And the sayings on that stamp set are really good. So I highly recommend Charming Sentiment Bundle. Okay, now to put these on, I did use, um, <laughs> whatever they're called. Oh man, I can't even think straight today. I want it to do it in the same color. I'm gonna do green first. Um, glue dots. I wish I would have put a piece of sheet on the back of these two. Beans I was, you know, beans you're cutting it out for the top layer. You might as well cut it out for the um bottom layer too. Okay. We, let me see which one was in the middle. The third one was, let me do the one that goes in the middle next. Oops, I already put it on. I do realize this takes up some of my writing room, but that's okay. I don't mind. I just thought it looked cute inside. And next we'll do the crushed curry. You can find me located on Facebook, Stamping with Bonnie Lynn, Instagram, Pinterest, and of course, YouTube, you're here. I would love it if you subscribe to my channel and if you visit my blog you can also subscribe to getting my emails I send out usually about two a week um, I try not to overload you with them because if you're like me you don't like a lot of emails and I always not always but I try to twice a week send you a free card pattern recipe to do. There we go. And um, what else? 
If you don't have a demonstrator, I would love it if you would use me as your demonstrator. And then you can earn rewards points and work towards that $25 gift certificate. Okay, this is the Poppy Parade. Oh, I can't even, let's see, what mini stripe ribbon. This is a quarter inch. And I'm just going to tie it on here real quick. I'm going to tie it from up at this end. I'm not very good at tying ribbons, so excuse me if it doesn't turn out good. Hey, actually, that one turned out pretty good for me. And then I'm just going to clip off the ends. This pair of scissors I'm using has a ribbon tied on it. And that tells people that you can only use it to cut ribbon, nothing else. All right, there we go. Happy, 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 happy birthday. Wishing you everything wonderful. And then we got the candles in there. And you could even um, use your Stampin' Blends and color them, flames coming off of it if you wanted to. You could have cut, actually cut this off and then make... Um, Flames coming up off of it. Okay, the back of the card. We need to stamp something from the limited edition on there. And we can do just for you. If we're not selling it, just giving it away. We don't need the stamping up on it. So we'll do the just for you. And I know this is my poppy red where I told you the stamp pad isn't my friend and get that in the middle and you could actually sign your name underneath it I also have a stamp um, this one right here that says oh, what does it say handmade by Bonnie and it has a heart in the middle I had that made at a stamp shop and then I have a stamping up stamp right here. And I'll show you what I do. Let me open this back up. But I never seem to get it straight. I need to do a combined stamp. And just stamp stamping up right underneath there. And that meets our angel policy, stamping up's angel policy rules or if you want to sell your cards, resell them. All right, so there's that. And this was the original one. And as you can see, I did a ribbon here, didn't do anything on that one. The insides, this is the wishing you the happiest of birthdays from the Charming Cinnamons. And there's my candles. And here's this one. Now I did do an envelope that I'll show you real quick. I just took a piece of the designer series paper and glued it to the back. And as you notice, it is straight across there. Um, you can leave it that way, or you can take your paper snips. And I'm not gonna do the whole thing. I'm just gonna show you. Just take your paper snips and Cut it like so. Just like that. And there you go. Beautiful. Okay, and then I did two more. I told you that I got the idea to make my brother a birthday card. So I... Um, Made him his birthday card. This is the In Color Designer Series paper, Starry Skies. Starry Skies, my card stock. Different shades of blue. I used, I think, Pool Party, Balmy Blue, Pacific Point, Starry Sky, and Night and Navy. 
and then inside wishing you everything wonderful. From the old number die from Stampin' Up, I cut out a 65 for them. And then this is a non-Stampin' Up stamp, um, old geezer, and stamped him right there. He'll get a kick out of that. And then this one I made, <laughs> oh no, I forget the Happiness Abounds is the stamp set. I forget the name of the paper. I'm sorry, but it's in the um, annual catalog. It's one of my favorites. And I used Pool Party, Fresh Freesia, Coastal Cabana, Gorgeous Grape, and Mossy Meadows. And then I put a piece of the Designer Series paper down the side there and a piece of the Fresh Freesia um, ribbon on it. And I also put the In Color Fresh Freesia dots, three of them on here. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this card and seeing how you can use your Stamparatus to make perfectly straight stamps and have them go down one after the other. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you could. And please leave a comment on how you like the card. And if you make one, feel free to email it to me at bonnie at stampingwithbonnielynn.com. I would love to hear from you. Thank you and have a good afternoon. Bye.